Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You might notice that once again, my loadout and the graphics are a little different. I kind of lost footage for an episode that I filmed on the Nintendo Switch, so I had to return to the Wii U and play from the Wii U, where I was on that, up to here again. So I've been like, essentially juggling two games, two save files for this game. But, what we're gonna do is, go ahead and do the Divine Beast, and then once we get up to the boss fight, we'll swap back over to the Switch, because that's where my Switch save file currently is. So let's go ahead and talk to Teba, and head up to Divine Beast Far Meadow. We'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. Don't forget the bomb arrows. Also, it'll be cold up there. You'll want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. I'm ready, let's go. But let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Meadow? To rescue Zelda. Zelda. But that's the name of the princess Revali served 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with Divine Beast Far Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Right, get on. So this is actually probably my favourite Divine Beast. I don't particularly care for water puzzles that much. Um, but this sort of lateral thinking is really cool. And I just kind of like the aesthetic of this Divine Beast. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. There's Divine Beast Far Meadow. It has its barrier up again, what a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's barrier. It's impenetrable. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. Alright, Mum. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. Now go blow those cannons up. Oh, right, I'm just going to ditch me, okay. I've forgotten the buttons. Pew. Pew. I wouldn't mind a bit of a an updraft or something from me, you know? And you're definitely not drawing their fire, because they're still firing at me. Arc it a little bit more. There we go. Alrighty, so that's two. Now we just kind of got to glide our way over here. Okay, that one's fire he's drawing, but the first one he definitely didn't. Yep. 
So I used a few more arrows there than I would have liked, but that's okay. Oh, didn't knock that correctly either. There we go. Nope, missed it again. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Travel gate registered to map. Alrighty. So let's swap two regular arrows to the start. Get rid of that. Mm, now. Is that the one he wants us to get to? I honestly, like, can't remember, even though I basically just did these somewhat recently. I cannot remember for the life of me how to do the puzzles. I remember how to do one of them and that's it. Do I go up in the middle to start off with? Maybe. Well, up to the top, I mean. No, because I have to activate this one, don't I? Alright, I'm not sure if this is the way to do it, but if we face this way, turn around, please. And then glide across like this, maybe. That'll do. Should probably get a weapon out that's not a torch. Let me remember how to, uh, 
had a block. I thought it was this. Yeah, there we go. Annoying thing. Alrighty, so now we get the map of Divine Beast Far Meadow. And we get to control it to start solving some some wind puzzles and some spatial reasoning puzzles. Excellent. Divine beast controls have been enabled. I'm plenty up to it. Alright. So to start off with, we'll head down this way. So what we want to do is tilt meadow. So all these blocks fall down here. Get rid of this while we're up here. Alrighty, now. Whoa, hello. Now we want to go, oops, get off. Now we want to go even. And then we want to open this window here. I'll let some wind in. Right. Then we need that. We need, whoops, not that. Well, I mean, this might work if we hit it with something strong enough. But I doubt it. And also, I don't have a. Oh, yeah, I do. Alright, we can try the sledgehammer way. I don't know if it'll work. Okay, cool, that works fine. Oh, no it doesn't. Wait. Don't close the door. I think every other time I've solved that puzzle, I've like, tilted Varmeto to make that thing slam into, um, to slam into the button. As opposed to stasising it and then wailing on it with a sledgehammer myself. I oh, sorry, that's interesting. Right. So that's one. There's a chest up there. Just up there as well. All right. Um, we'll tilt up and go like over here, so we can try and get that chest. I don't know if we're up high enough. That looks like a good bar. Let's see if we can get rid of something. Um, yep, let's get rid of that. Thank you. We can head over and get this chest as well. Get rid of that malice. Oh, 
Oh, there's another chest. Let's claim more. I might grab that. Might come in handy. Let's get rid of probably this giant boomerang, honestly. I rarely use the giant boomerangs. So now, there's one over there, okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get to it from this position, so we'll have to t tilt our meadow back. And it looks like we actually have to tilt him in the whole opposite direction. And hopefully we can run up this before it gets too tilted. There we go. Alright, now there's one in this room. And we want this to be straight again. And we want to use some bombs. So if we put that there. Get in there. Um, what could does that one being open do? Nothing really. Anyway, now we tilt back this way to detonate the bomb. So now we have a clear track. Uh, then we want the bomb to go over to the left. To blow up that door. Then we want to close the wind and tilt this way so the ball will roll out I don't know if we can magnesis it through the glass oh, yes we can, alright, give me that and we put this on the track here and we tilt back up. See, these puzzles are just way more fun and interesting to me than the um, than the water ones. Like, I don't know if it was just the, the trunk that was giving me issue in the first Divine Beast. Whoa. So we've got two terminals left. Now I know where one is. Um, the other one I think I have to go around to get it. Come on, put your climbing cleats on. Now, the way I did this puzzle was super stupid on the Switch. I, for whatever reason, completely forgot about the ability to tilt the Divine Beast. And I stasised this lift and then smacked it with this sledgehammer. Um, and like, launched it all the way across. And, uh, this is annoying. 
and it just like I stepped in it but it just it zoomed off out from under my feet and plummeted me um, <laughs> to the land below which was great um, not super useful oh, and then the then the lift was like stuck over the, that side and it took me probably 10 minutes of wandering around I'm like wow did I really just like wreck this dungeon for myself do I have to leave and come back to like reset this and I was like oh I am stupid I can oh my god I nearly jumped out I'm still stupid apparently yeah I totally forgot that I could tilt the the beast And it would have made for funny footage, but, uh, yeah, recording software played up a bit and lost that entire session, so that was fun. But that's alright, because, honestly, like, we've probably further along now in a shorter amount of time than I was playing it through the first time. So now, excuse me, we just want to zoom on over. Easy as pie. Alrighty, so, and just like that, uh, we're up to the boss. So what we're going to do is, whoop. Oh, definitely did that too soon. Oh dear. What's the plan here, Link? Whoop. Okay, well, we're just going to have to fall. Plays with my vertigo, something shocking. No, oh, that's actually fine though, because now we can just go like this. Wee. Alright, so now that we're. Oh my god, every time. Now that we're back up to where I was on the Switch, I'm gonna swap back over to the Switch version. I'm going to switch to the Switch, if you will. So I'll be. Just a sec. Ta-da! Alright, what do we got? Guardian Shield, Thunder Blade. Okay, got lots of arrows, lots of bomb arrows as well. Let's go. Whoa. I can't remember what the strategy is for old mate here. Oh, apparently in this multiverse I kept the swallow bar. Let's maybe try... No, not engineers. Bomero. 
What about a different bow? I just feel like we're not doing that much damage, you know. Ah, I remember now. Um, here we go. We need some slow motion. Oh dear. Oof. Nope. Wasted a bomb arrow. Where are you flying to? Boom. Alright, we need a heal because we just got blasted again. I thought I got a bunch of hardy durians. Nope, last time I got them, yeah. Fun. Shoot me while I'm down. God, this flying thing's annoying sometimes when you just like won't get up in the air. It's like dreams I've had where I'm trying to fly and like I can do it for about 10 seconds and then I can't do it anymore. Adios amigos. Every time. Long shot. Oh, that actually hit. Nice. Why does my stamina just keep, like, immediately running out? Oh, that's why. Come on, Link. Get over there. All right, first form done. Okay, now I think we can use regular arrows here. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, yeah, we can. No. Where are the ice arrows? Mm. Bomb arrows still do the most. stamina. Let's save some bomb arrows. Should be able to get regular arrows now. Oh, I don't think we'll reach that far. Oh, we got him. What a shot.
Oh, nearly walked straight past my heart container. So now we're on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Yes, that's fine. I think we got all treasure chests. This returns metal back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't fool yourself, Crystal Bloom is right. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. A sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali Scale. Ravali's Gale, a blusterous power born from the spirit of the champion Ravali, creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by charging jump with B. This is honestly one of the best um, divine beast powers or spirit powers, whatever you want to call them, in the game. Because it makes flying around just so much easier. 
Let's talk to Keneally. You have done it, and you survived at that. You conquered Divine Beast Varmado. To think the beast has taken up roost at the top of the village, it looks simply divine. If the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beast will ravage the Calamity. For now, Divine Beast Varmado will become the protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yes, of course, I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest, you will get more use out of it than I. What you did was miraculous, though I should expect nothing less of one from the bloodline of a champion. Why, you are almost the equal of the very Hylian champion who fought with Master Ravali 100 years ago. All you lack is the sword that seals the darkness. They say the Hylian champion wielded the sword that seals the darkness that now sleeps deep within the forest. Okay. The Great Eagle Bow. I don't think I can carry that at the moment, yeah. Uh, whoops. What do we want? Whoops. Yes, right. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. So, two divine beasts conquered. How many spirit orbs do we have? We have one. So, we need seven more. I think. Uh before we can go retrieve the sword that seals the darkness. So, we're going to call it an episode here. And in the meantime, I'm going to go hunt for some shrines to grind some spirit orbs. I'd like to thank you for joining me for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I hope to see you in the next video.